Now we'll talk about the way that you can promote this version to be shown to students, to be uh, a promotional space, or uh, actually archived as a pr promoted state. So first let's go back to view course space, and this is where we start to lead into the future as to where this is going. Uh, so there's Bill's redesign that I've been working on. Um, one of our ideas is that the operations would all be here as to what you can do with this version. And if I wanted to offer this version for you know, the fall semester, I would click offer this version, put in those values um, such as semester, campus section, year, those types of things, uh, and then mark whether or not it's OER. And that would uh, effectively create a copy of this to run for that semester. It would be an offered version. Uh, it will show up here, and you know, the idea is this is seamless as possible, but we're going to show the kind of behind the scenes as to what would be happening. So this is going to use the workflow module, very popular Drupal project, in order to do this. So you see right now I have development branch. That's actually the workflow state. So if I go to status, this is going to show us the workflow. Uh, you'll see it's in development branch. Uh, there's offered to students and promotional version. Um, if I switch it to promotional version, this would be that I've created it. It's a demonstration space just to give students a, an idea of what the course content would be like. Obviously, I'd go and change this content. But you see it says promotional version here. It changes the bar to green to try and give you a visual indicator of where you are. And it also changes the path. So now everything in here is under Art 100 demo. So any of these pieces of content I go to, you'll see it's Art 100 demo. Uh, I, I'll go back to course space now, and we'll see what change that made. So you already see there's take a tour. So that's going to list that version of the course is now because this is the demo. There's the, hey, I'm going to take a tour of this. This is again the, the kind of unifying promotional space for the fact that this course exists. Try to get future students interested in taking it, um, you know, as well as you know, other faculty members, things that are interested in what courses are being offered and who's teaching them. Uh, try to make that stuff more transparent. So let's take a tour of this course. You know, this can drop this into the same space and we'll push it through some other workflow states. So some nice things about workflow from an admin perspective is you know, I can say, well, you can make something promotional, but then you can't move it to being offered to students. Uh, so you're essentially siloing uh, promotional state because you know it's kind of a one time that you're going to do that for a course. Um, so I pushed it back. You'll see dev, dev, it's red now. Uh, let's go back. Let's see what the workflow is. So now I can move it to offered to students. Uh, another nice thing is I leave comments offering this course as part of the video. So this will leave a comment. It has the whole history here. Uh, I already recorded this once and it crashed. Thank you, Jing. So, let me go back here. You see, okay, offer to students. It's now blue. And you'll see the address has changed to reflect the values I set in an earlier video. Uh, so spring 2011, 2012 semester, it's at campus three, and it's one, two, three as the section number. So, go back to status and see what the other end state is, which is an archived offering. Uh, something else we're playing with the idea of is that you'd be able to schedule this archive offering to say, well, you know when a semester is, so let's just automatically archive this at this date. Because um, I want to showcase what this is going to change. We won't do that, but the functionality is there. So change that, archived offering. You saw a message telling us it was an archive. Path is now, part 100 archive, and then a random number. And then you know, we've got this kind of gray that it's been archived. Um, something else that's nice with these names is if, say, that I go to that, you know, it was dev1234 or whatever it was at one point, right? So if that link is still publicized somewhere, you'll see what it did is a student, you know, say a student goes to what originally was publicized as art100, you know, this whole big string here. Well, it's going to fail back to the course space that's associated with it. So what we can do is if we notice it's a student or we notice it's a faculty member and they're only in one of these versions, or, you know, one of these offerings, then we can just push them there automatically. So we're able to capture that, bring them to this page. They can review and say, oh, okay, well, I'm only taking that offering and then clicking go in. They're at the right link now. 